and heroines and welcome to practicing programming in C where we're going to be doing a tiny little bit of stuff on Cinera. I'll just get my music going and then I can describe what we're actually going to be doing. Uh, yes it's some it's three very small little things. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to keep the remove, keep the breaking of things in. Um, yeah, the desired filter display is one of the things. So the filter furnishing, um, we'll get to that. Yeah, that is one of the things. The direct deletion, I would describe that in due course. Um, and the first thing I want to do is a very tiny thing. So it's just in Cine.c. Um, it's where I did a switch statement the other day. Um, so I was switching on generation minus one and it was for the global search page. So let me just see if I can get to this. What's the function I called it? It was like um, construct the search page HTML, isn't it? Construct search URL. Here we go. This is it, <clears throat> right? So yeah, read search page into buffer, read global search page into buffer, and then this default case here. So basically, what I'm trying, what I want to do here, is just do a search. I think you do a search zero, isn't it, to make it always trigger? Um, I'd also like to print a message. And the message is basically going to be. Um, Actually, I'll do it as, uh, as a full message. So, um, how do you do it? Okay. Printf. And it's basically like. Um, Sort of like a special page. Basically that really. Let's just double check actually if that assertion actually is correct. Just see if that triggers it. And if I do insert one, that will pass or enter. Yeah. All right, so that's all I wanted to do there. The other thing is dregs deletion. I can, yeah, I'll do this one next actually. So, sooner.conf. What have we got going on here? We're generating risky. <clears throat> I think we've commented out other people, haven't we? Yeah. And we've got uh, Hamid here commented out also. So what I'm going to do is, just so I can demonstrate it, I'm going to generate hero as well. 
I could also generate bit wise, but I don't necessarily need to um, in order to demonstrate this. So I'm going to generate here. Uh, that is getting appended. And I suppose, truly speaking, I should really um, just start from scratch. So I've got a clean slate. These guys are fresh. Such a hero, risky, that's our lot. So So what we've generated is this. Uh, we've got interest to see on Windows mid hero, is that right? Yeah it is. Yeah, here's a business in there. So interested in Windows mid hero, just toggle these off. Um handmade ray. Toggle all those guys off. And then handmade chat and handmade miscellany. And risky business. So, as a as a result of generating all of this lot, we produce um, some particular files. Um, go to here. Uh, if I just go here, you should be able to see. Yeah, here index and here and index.html. Okay, so there's those those two files. So here index currently has nothing in it. Yeah, I can buy that. Because there's no entries for hero for this actual top level here, I think. If I look in chat, you get a chat.index, which has got information in it. And you've got an index.html, which is the actual file. The actual HTML file. So one thing we do want to support, and which we do support, is deletion of projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just comment out hero. Like so, and regenerate it. So you saw that that's how it ran quicker. And maybe, yeah, it says that it delete, deletes projects. So this, we probably want to make that, I'll make that make note, actually. To do there, so I probably would encounter that uh, when I'm doing my final pass through cleaning up things. We've got a warning here actually. So, going on to default medium project, default medium for project hero. So, it's config warning on line 49 of sudo. Let me just have a look at that. In a second. It doesn't like that. No owner sets. All oh, right. Ah. So the owner will be for the hero project, probably, won't it? So we have, we have sort of got the hero thing still sitting around. Let me just comment out this also.
Yeah, no, it doesn't bother. Actually, I wonder if I don't need to fix anything now that I've done that. Maybe this has actually done everything it needs to, it needs to do. Yeah, I think it has actually. So there's the risky thing. But that's still legit because this top level project still exists. So maybe that is already fine. Basically, the, I'll just show you what the problem was previously. Be somebody not supporting the new um, global search page. That could be what's going on there. Take a look at the database. the assets block right I think I should be able to reproduce that um, but let me just talk about what we're trying to talk about originally <clears throat> so I'm generating Camoed Hero and Risky Business So here's all our stuff. We've got chat, chat index is there, and the here index is there. Now what I did last time was I commented out this. I've done that right. So remember, I've commented out this, but the include thing still has that. Right, so that meant that this still exists. And I was thinking that um, that needed to be fixed. And I guess technically this actually does need to be fixed, doesn't it? <laughs> This is still okay. This hero index existing is still actually correct and in line with this. But what needs to be fixed is this index.html file it needs to be fixed up in some way. And this actually might be a symptom of the other thing. Like if I just rerun it straight away now. Do we lose this file? We don't, okay. So the other thing which I refer to is essentially this. If I give this a title, so you've got Risky Business Holiday Project. So you don't get that anymore. Um, but that's that's what we need to fix. We need to make sure that that filter gets shown. That's the third thing I'll be doing. Alright, so we can't see it. 
I'm just toddle on to a mutator again. Just simply so we can get that um, holding project thing showing up. So we go how much risky business holding project. Right. And you get that risky business holding project. Now if I just remove that Right, so that's after the configuration. Pretty sure what I was finding last time was that it did it just kept that around. Yeah, it still that still exists. So it's getting that from somewhere. And I believe it's not actually in the database at this point. So it would be around around here. So there's risky business. So you put, you basically get a risky and then you get, what do you get? You get risky then a dart then risky then risky business. Well I guess strictly speaking it's just it's really the the directory, isn't it? So you get the directory, then before that you get the title, and then before that you get whatever this is referring to. So you get this, and then yeah, so there's no title basically between this and this. Right. Let that happen again. I wonder what you actually get this time. You probably will get it that it's it's not got the thing, won't you? Yeah, you do. So what's basically happening, I reckon, is that it's using the existing database do something and then after having done something using the database to generate this page and then having generated that page it actually then goes and modifies the thing so there's our risky business holding project in the database but it's, it's absent from this filter so yeah the problem with the deleting of the dregs I think isn't strictly a problem actually but the fact that the search page was hanging around after us having deleted most of handmade hero could be a byproduct of us of this other problem here which is basically the generation of the database before actually updating the database sorry the generation of the search page before generating the database before I'm um, fixing the database up so how do you look into this I mean it's going to be so simple isn't it you're in at the DB and then you try and sync the DB
So is it not anything to do with making make sure the titles and things match? Where does that happen exactly? I think that's in here, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. So we're calling sync db with input right at the end. Now is that would that be right? Sync project does all this. Good project. search for yeah okay so if deleted or inserted or modified really isn't it if deleted inserted or modified then we want to generate search page I think that's basically what you want to do you yeah, know I do think that's what you want to do Database may not be set up correctly at this point. Figure out why. A blank global search to. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what that's referring to. But let's see if this is putting us in a better situation now. So should we seeing risky business holding project in the title? So for a start, do we see it in the database? Should probably do this test on Hamid here actually, because it's right at the top. Yeah, so we do see risky business holding project there. And we see risky business holding project here. Now, if I just come up this out, previously what would happen is we would end up with risky business holding projects sticking around in here, and we were finding that it was gone from here, correctly gone from here. Now, let's see what we get. So we, we actually regenerate in that page. So that's fixed that particular problem. So now let's try the deletion of handmade hero. So there's that, this is not correct because we need the filter, but if we now go to hero, I think hero index HTML doesn't exist, is that true? 
Guess okay, so this is still correct. This is still wrong. So that existing is correct, but index.html isn't and I think possibly what's going on here could be that we've determined that the child projects of Hamid Hero would need to be modified. They've been deleted, so something would have to happen to them. So we've done the if deleted and search by modified, generate search pages. Oh, actually, yeah, generate search pages. Oh. If the global search directory length is greater than that. So it isn't the global search that we're talking about. We are talking about this particular person here. So yeah, it seems like we are intending to do what we need to do. Right. Where's the deleted thing? So here's deleted. Delete dead DB entries. This is DB entries, right. We're not actually getting there, are we? In deleting the project. Isn't it? So So we've got S child and grandchild there. The store child and the stored grandchild. The S parent is the DP plot projects. Okay, so I think That we need to actually generate that search page here, don't we? The 
I'm just doing it on sync projects because that's the that's the case we're kind of talking about here. The parent will be handmade hero. So basically, what I'm talking about doing is generate search page. For that parent. What does that take? That takes a neighborhood as well. Are the collection buffers? Yeah, we don't have the collection buffers yet. What does that guy take? That guy takes the collection buffers. I mean, it kind of seems like we just do it, really. We so we sync the DB. We can do all of this stuff as we fancy. Well, not monitor file system. Before we did monitor file system. We've got the collision buffers, haven't we? Yeah, so we've claimed the collision buffers here. I mean, it kind of seems like you just do that, doesn't it? So you don't really do anything special to check whether or not to bother. You just go ahead and do it. That hasn't worked, though, has it? Has it? Because that should have got rid of the handmade hero. Yeah, this hero, di hero di index. you got hero it should be trying to produce a file at home at test hero at this location right try to produce that there So this parent Oh it's current project. That's a bit wrong, isn't it? Or is it?
right, so if we delete something, then we need to. I mean, it's even if, it's if that, or if we've reorganized. But let's just do this one first. So if deletion count is greater than zero, I think the tools we don't have a project at this point there, do we? Oh, we do. All right, so delete. Sorry. Generate search page. So yeah, do we have the neighborhood actually? Yeah, that's one thing we don't have. <laughs> what does that need the neighborhood for? Is that just gonna be for the... Signpost is what I was thinking. But it needs it for the neighborhood pointers. And don't let the landmarks to search. Yeah, and this guy is only taking the neighborhood to do the neighborhood pointers thing. So how about... We just do that. in with us. Yeah, we haven't. <laughs> right, you know what I'm going to do? You know we've got to generate search pages. I was talking about the current project and that seems to be doing some stuff for some people. I think what I'm going to do is now was this correct? Generate search pages. We did the modified thing. I do think that was correct. So that worked. But I think what I want to do is I want to do a generate all search pages. So it just goes through every single project that we've got in the database and it just it just goes for it. It just it just generates generates all of them. So, what's the, what's the info? And we can let it take the neighborhood, I guess. And it's going to need the 
database so that's always available so it's basically going to go Uh, go, it's going to go into each project, generate the search page for that project, and then it's going to finally generate the global search page. for anything that I was using for that. It strings match PID code. Delete landmarks for search P index. Okay, so it sort of needs that for that. So it sort of seems like we need to go over Well actually maybe we need to make it just different really because the existing thing seems to be operating on the configured projects That's what we're trying to do here. So remember, all we're trying to do is to get this thing to get either regenerated or deleted. has got all this. So if I, instead of deleting everything, if I just delete these people, so I'm going to leave intro to C, but delete everybody else, what happens then? There we go, so that's generated it again. But the trouble is, if I now delete this, Well, we haven't seen that actually, have we? Yeah, so that hasn't that hasn't taken. But I 
assume that the database has got the the change. Yeah, the database has picked up that it's moved. Those it's lost it. Should we have to get it back in again? Yeah, it's interesting to see. And now it's back. So sync db, if I just look back at sync db. <laughs> So where we will have gone, we will have gone into sync projects top level. We'll have gone over this chart count. And then at some point we would have got, we would have got deletion counts, we would have deleted the projects. For everybody except intro to see. Now there's nothing in here that's to do with generating the thing. I mean I guess what I could probably do actually is let these guys get generated. Yeah, let these guys get generated. And then if I just count out these and step through the thing, and it's really generate search pages, the function that I want to end up on. So I guess I could run to here and then pop up the stack to see how I ended up there, would that be right? Well, the alternative is just to go to CDB, which I think I'll do. So we'll hit this first. So we're talking about a hero, and he's got a child count of five. Okay, so we should be, get, should be able to get down. To actually, yeah, that's two. So we actually need to get into this loop and get into sync projects top level. That's where we need to go. Actually, watch a step. Yeah. So now we're going to be talking about. Yeah, okay. So this person, I reckon, has a chalk out of five. Really, it knows already. That we've got a child count of one. How does it know that?
talking about? Oh, sorry, right, yeah, yeah. So C is the actual configured thing. So this knows from the from the actual passed in config that the does the child count to one. Right, yeah, that's fine. That's bang on. Right. And then having got through it, the deletion count is going to be the difference between that and the actual stored child count. Right. So the stored child count is going to be five. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right. So if we continue on down to here, so now we have a deletion count and we need to delete some projects. So we step in. So there's some delete HTML files of projects and children. So we're doing the project and its ch children. And by children, I think we just mean the entries. Don't we? What's going on there? This isn't the children. Okay. Fine. So that was the deletion of this page. So now we're going to continue through the loop, aren't we? Yeah, deleting another project. I'll tell you what, maybe once we come to the end of this, we need to be saying, If we've run out of children, do we need to do something specially? But we still haven't touched, have we? This file here, right? Code is still here. So we have ostensibly deleted code. We just saw that happen. I think I've got to this now, I think. Yeah, so we've got hero. Intro to C, and then we jump straight to Ray. So yeah, intro to C. Yeah, so we've got rid of code from the database. And we've also got rid of the HTML file for it, but this is code here in the pro in its parent search page. So we need to get to the place I can type. We need to get to the place. Where we actually get rid of that file, or where we regenerate it, rather. Right, so we can't 
actually no. Let me see. Yeah, we still have this. But I think by now everyone's gone. So you should see that intro to C exists, but Ray will have gone. Yeah. So it goes intro to C. Straight down to risky. So we've deleted code Ray, chat and misc. We've done all that. The HTML search page still exists as it did before. Now we're going over syncing risky, which hasn't changed. So db still at this point we haven't touched this html file so this is still existing generate search page. So who are we talking about here? We're talking about generating the search page for intro to C, so that's going to be this file here. Right, so we're getting the actual path. Uh, so we're going to be generating this actual thing here. Or actually it's going to be the... Well, it could be that. Yeah, it's not. It's just a directory for it. But it's effectively it's the equivalent of this, but just the directory for it for us to locate. So this is now going up to your parents. So this is where it's happening, you know, because this is going to be this parent is going to be hero, and this is going to be yeah, it's hero, and this itself is going to be intro to C. So this is interesting. So we're getting into here by virtue of the fact that we have got a project to, to, to talk about. This thing here is going to be generating the search page for this. So this is where this is going to change. So I can just step over it. I can just see that actually just be the thing that changes. Oh, 
Oh, it's actually gone into it. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I'll test here. This is not thing we do. Okay, so I need a way to get into this routine when there's no children. Because basically what we've managed to do there is get into this situation here. We're trying to generate the search page, search pages for intro to see. Right, that was the current project. That's the current project that exists in the data in the config. Yeah, we can get get through this in order to go to parents and generate their search pages. We got here generate search page. We've got the, we've got the neighborhood, the collection buffers, the N project, which is the neighborhood project, and we've got this, which is the natural project. I think the difficulty here is that we've got things from both the config and the database having to be available. Because this, this project here is from the config, but n project. in the database. Right, we've got a reserved thinker that we have in the database. I think we just need a way. Yeah, I need I need to make a way to actually just generate a base on the database. Because we've synced up the two things. What is it prevent that's preventing me from doing that at the moment? Can't really you generate search pages because it's talking about the current project, which is really it's a bit of a fudge. So what I'm looking here is stored P and P, like where those respective things are being used, and I'm ideally looking for a way to just be talking about stored P. So we're being driven by the database, basically. So this is just test code here, this P. Stored P, yep, again, stored P is that. But then here, yeah, it's a search template. And then the P index.
Yeah, okay, so each project gets its own template, right? That's one of the things that seems to be getting in our way a bit here. So we could get around that by just having a separate template. A bit like the bespoke template, honestly. So you just have that and you just pass it around. Is that even being used? Yeah, it's been used down sync DB with input. Oh, and always sync project. But it's getting passed pass through. about here is just the search pages actually isn't it like we're not syncing entries just taking a full gander at what that's been used for again right the p the index That's true. Now we can implicitly know what index we're talking about as we're looping through the database because it's the database itself that it, you know it's the it's the layout of the data of the stuff in the database that determines its project index. So we have that information ourselves. Let's try and do this. So, so we've got to generate all search pages. We're not going to have a current project. We're not going to be talking about a project at all. This index, right, so this is where we need to actually be. We're not going to have to locate projects because we're actually, we're simply going over them ourselves. Right, generate all search pages. Locate projects block, that's what we need to do first. This is right, first of all. Alright. 
page. I think it's the top of it. Alright, so let's do that. There's probably an init template somewhere in there. So you're going over all of the top level people and then you want to recursively sort of generate the search pages of the people that you're coming through. Just generate search pages of predators and children. So yeah, it's just um, generate search based based on the <laughs> based only on the database really. Right. So it's going to not take a P. It's going to be exactly like this. It's just going to take instead the index that we're going to be 
totting up as we're actually going through the our function. And it's also going to take Well, it doesn't even need to take a search template, honestly. This this guy could just claim the template itself. And based on the header project. So yeah, let's do it like that. So there's enough nick all of this. Now does this ever actually return anything interesting? To an error directory. Right. So rather than that it's going to take a project index and rather than using the p search template it's actually going to use a template that we've got ourselves I can probably init it in, in one go, actually, honestly. But before I get there, I'll just get this ready. See, so yeah, we're going to init the template, then at the end, we need to actually free it. I assume we've got that function. So we're on a search page. Um, call it generate search page from index is what I'm sort of thinking generate search page from database from index from index now where are we so that's just test code Index, okay. <clears throat> so this needs to take the template, the location and the type. So we know that the template type is going to be the search page. Let's be sure what that called. And then what was it? It's the location, wasn't it? Which was, I think, a string. Yeah. So we need to construct the template location. I'm in the wrong function. I should be in here. Yeah, because we changed that, didn't we?
So stored p is what we're going to be basing it on. Where's the template information? Oh, you're joking. Is that in the, uh, is that just in the config? <laughs> Yeah, it probably is actually, isn't it? For now. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, I think we do have this function to find the conf the entry of a project based on a project index. I think we do have that. So how do I find this exactly? Project from config, so you can get hero and code. See what the things we've got around this area. Yeah, I think we can do this. Our top level function that we're talking about initially would be getting projects from config. And we have their IDs. doing this we're going to get the project obviously <laughs> so the only thing we're not going to end up having that the old functions required hello Ivano sorry I missed you completely missed your message 11 minutes ago <laughs> um, yeah the only thing we're going to be missing will be the template but we're not going to be missing the template once we've got the project. <laughs> so yeah, after all that, we need the project. Hold on a minute, hold on. Let me just remind myself why, why we actually need the project. Oh right, for the template location, right, yeah. All right, so the templating is something I need to do actually. <clears throat> I need to do the templating and I need to do the um, sort of refreshing of the config. Now as a part of the template, will I want to will I want to store the template 
information in the database. And I think I will actually, I think I will want to store that template information in the database. Okay. So what that would mean is that I would be adding a new, what I'll probably do is add a templates block to the, to the database. I would like store the metadata of the templates in that, in that thing. And say, just same as the assets, I'd store indices, which say which entries or search pages or whatever, use that particular template. And I think in the Entries themselves will also point into the template. Would that be right? Yeah, that's possibly what I'd do. Basically, what I'm sort of trying to persuade myself to do here <laughs> is to not do this just yet. And instead to do the template stuff first. Then do this. Then do the updating of the config. So I keep hitting things that You know, I'm kind of dependent on other, on other things. So yeah, I want to say I'm going to do that actually. <laughs> so what we're doing here is basically getting the Basically, to to generate all all the um, the index pages. Clearly, the regenerative reference has generally all been deleted. Because that's the problem, we don't have a way to actually. We don't have a way to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the situation. And the reason we can't do this at the moment. Um, Specification of our database, but the database does not contain template information. So, so what we're arguing is uh, 
um, do the simple stuff. Um, Then we want to do the refresh in the it's like the um, hot reloaded config basically. I still don't think that I've made a note of that. So yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna try and do. So let me just back all this garbage out. And there is something that I need to do before we end today. At least I think there is. Um, now this, what was this saying? Was this doing anything for us? I think it was, wasn't it? This modified thing. I think actually this was the mod this was the thing that was helping us. Put the modified. If modified, then we generate search page. Yeah, I think this is what we needed to do. So basically what that enabled us to do was to get that, it was the holding product because, um, so if we go to server, kind of, go to risky. So we've got risky holding project. I think if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we've got the risky business holding projects. And if we delete this and do it again. Yeah, we've now lost the holding project. So it's simply that one little bit, whatever that was. It was the modified business. So if we didn't have the modified stuff, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it, mate. So I've got nothing doing it without the modified, uh, sorry, without the holding. And we still not got the holding, yeah. So yeah, it was literally just that, that modified thing. So that helped us out there. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the dregs deletion is kind of still ongoing. Um, but we kind of figured out that we were kind of doing some of it correctly already. So the final thing that we want to do, I think we might be in the position to do it possibly, but we're not because we've got our material. Let's comment this out. Let's also comment out Handmade Hero. Oh, and I'll tell you what, actually, <laughs> this might already be right now that I think about it.
Actually, no, I think either way it's not right. So here we go. Yeah, we should definitely be getting the filter here. Whatever happens. So, risky business. So on the risky business own, own page, we're getting the filter popping up. But on the global search page, we're not getting that popping up despite risky business containing risky business miscellaneous and the two book club projects so we basically need to just determine the correct logic to get that filter thing showing up So yeah, if at least project end projects have public entries, so this is basically the function. And if I'm not mistaken, we never get here, I guess. and risk so we apparently we haven't got the pre the p is that right yeah okay, we haven't got a p found products of public entries Now this is just going over everyone. So that's a bit weird that we're going over this function twice. Because really we should just be going over it once, I would have thought. So we've got risky with three children. <laughs> Hold on. Um, well, actually, no, not necessarily. Produce or descendants have public entries. I was going to say we should just be incrementing it by the child count, but we can't necessarily say that because we need to see if it's got entries. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, so we, the risky itself doesn't have any entries. Oh, we probably just want to make it actually count up the number of projects that have public entries. And then having counted up the number of projects that have public entries, then we just increment the our parents whatever this was talking about by the number of projects that have public entries so basically here rather than this being an if we just increment the found projects with public entries by this by whatever this returns that's what we probably need to do right so it's returning an int um No. 
Cześć, to pochwy jest na... I mean, another way to do it is to make project or descendants have public entries take the found project with public entries. Is this being used by anyone? So that's just saying if any projects are public entries, so we don't need to bother counting up those. Yeah, so let's let's say that this guy here, as well as taking the child, takes a point to the found projects for public entries. Simply does that, and then having done that, right? So it's really um, count of projects or descendants with public entries, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, yeah, and it's not actually turning anything, it's just incrementing the count. function that would just do recursively, isn't it? Uh, and then, yeah, we simply just do it, don't we? It's not an if situation. We do it, and then we skip the project. And having done that, we just get out of there. I think that's correct. And then I think I misspelled something somewhere. Count of projects or descendants. So that doesn't like this, doesn't it? And then it's saying public server if. So that needs to take the count, doesn't it? And 
and this is simply well no it's not actually it's still not on if down here <coughs> if the count is still zero return false oh, I guess return the count isn't it It's not that, is it? Again, it's the same thing. Uh. So we're building. See if that's any better for us. So what we're actually trying to do again, folks. <laughs> what was the purpose of that? It was to show the filter, so it hasn't worked. Filter required is here, isn't it? Yeah, we definitely need a build. So let's jump into that and see what's going on. Risky got 78 entries. So it only needs to hit one of them, right? Because I know that they're all public. That should pass. So what is count at the moment? Zero, isn't it? 
and that should have increments in it, shouldn't it? Yeah, so it's one. So we know that one project here has public entries. That's what we're saying. So now, does it have children? It has no children, so we're not going to go into there. But that's fine, isn't it? So we're back out of risky, I think. Just get charge of X. Yeah, it's one. So we've gone through, we're going through this loop. So I just step into here. So now we should be talking about miscellaneous probably or, or book club. So we're talking about miscellaneous, yeah. So this guy has one entry and I know that that is public. So that should increment the count again. So what is it? Still one. Incremented by two. Now did I just forget to increment the count by well no, because we're doing it as we go, aren't we? So no children. And now we're back up to here. So let's just see. Wait, what's the count? What's that there? It's now four. So it's saying there's four entries. Now It's for this is the wrong test, isn't it? It's not here that needs to be looking at. It's um We need to read the one that works like two, don't we? So where was that? Oh sorry, it's there, isn't it? So if at least two n public n projects have public entries. Yeah, I've gone to the wrong test. It's actually this that I need to be looking at. Because that's determined that the filter is required for that. So let's just continue. Alright. Let's step into this now. So if at least n projects have public entries. So the fan project with public entries is equal to zero. And then it's supposed to be saying count of projects or descent with public entries. If that they return true, otherwise just skip the projects and children. And then see if that's public entries. So what's the problem? Oh, do we need to return the count actually? That's probably what we need to return actually. Is that true? Let's go through it anyway. So we're talking about risky, probably. All right, I'm talking about hero, fine. So it's gonna be zero, right? First of all, so we need to skip that project and children. And we're now talking about risky. Now, count them, four of them. I mean, there's your problem. Yeah, yeah, now we get the filter. So that's that sorted out. So, make sure that the project is uh, figure out how to design for the display. So, you remember, we probably don't know what we want. Project with no children, do not get a filter. At least, well, it's too double the project get a filter. We actually must produce a search with the global search page when there's a 
Even though there's one top lower quadrant with multiple children. Yeah, which we just solved. Only instances with the at least at least two top lower quadrants get a filter. Yeah, so that's what we were generating because that previous test was actually correct. But we've actually now got this working also. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting that the hero guy doesn't turn up as well. Um, interesting and perfectly fine. So you can toggle all them off. Yeah, so that's all it was. We just had to count up. Count up everyone. So let's tick that off. Make sure the product titles actually get updated in the database before generating the global search page. And that wasn't the problem. Was it? The problem was that having modified that title, we didn't actually trigger the generation of the page. So yeah, sync db within, but this is what we changed. So we did the modified thing. And we said that we modified it if the title differs, if the theme differs, if the unit differs, and finally, oh it's the title, the title was the thing wasn't it, that's the thing we were bothered about, yeah so the title differs, we say that we've modified, and if we've modified, we need to generate that search page, so yeah, that's basically solved that problem. Get that able to handle reagent to delete a project, we tick that off. Quotes privacy. Yeah, so. Still need to remove the break here things. And then the regenerate search pages project should have been already deleted. So this is now where we're at. So basically we wanted first of all I think I've done everything I wanted to do today, which is basically to do that assertion when we have encountered a an entry index of a special page that we don't support. It's basically it does not know about special page. So what was I trying to say? Does not handle. Does not support special page. Yeah. Oh, okay, special page. But yeah, so we've done that, we've added this assertion, at least. Not colonize the remaining things, that's one thing we need to do. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've done that. We've done the correct, correctly updating the title. or correctly regenerating the thing, regenerating the search page if the title has changed. And then we've done the actual sort of generation of the filter, like determining whether the filter is required for a particular page. So yeah, we've done those things. And the thing that we started to do 
was to regenerate search page for to have all been deleted until we realized that the temp we need to do the sort of template we get the yeah we need the template information and we sort of currently need both the database and the project the database and the config stuff to work together to do that <laughs> but we'd like to move away to a situation where we only need one or the other ideally just this database really so in order to accomplish that we're going to next do the temp new template tags and we're going to store the template info in the database and then finally we're going to do the hotline reloading of config sorry we're going to do the template tags and store template first then we're going to do the generation of the search pages and then we're going to do re reloading of config i mean it might be nice actually to do the config and reloading first so that we can actually test that out a little bit you know as we continue to do stuff for example we can do the config reloading then we could do the template info changing so that could be stuff like we change the path of the templates in the config and then that kind of change gets picked up while the program is still running and then having got that template stuff in the database we can then go on and finally do this um, and while we're doing this part of it is also talking about deleting of children so we can like add stuff add, add children to projects see the hot re reloading take those additions on and then we can delete those children, see the config take those on, and also see the search page get generated correctly for the parent project of those children, of those children that no longer exist. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do it that way around. Hot reloading a config. New template tags, store template info in the database, and then finally regenerate the search page. And then I think once we've got all that, I think we're ready to just release it, I think. I think that that's just the next version. Obviously we need to remove the breaking things and do some clean up, but I think these are the main things that we need to do. So yeah, let's call it there. We've done two hours and seven minutes of recorded stuff. <laughs> a bit longer than I was anticipated actually. I was sort of thinking it might be a short stream, but it ended up not being so, which is fine. Um, we're, we're comfortable doing long long sessions so yeah thank you very much heroes and heroines for being here for being beautiful and for being furnished I suppose and for not being for not being the dregs of society you're the pinnacle <laughs> all the pinnacle of um, sentient life yeah until next time Oh, for now.